There is one question in there that I saw and it says, when is each of y'all's first kiss? When was your first kiss? My first kiss was Brayden. For real? <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> Did I ask you out yet? No, probably because you were too busy with that girl. Like that's not fair to her or me. Like it's just disrespectful. What's, What's up, up Lissa family? family? And welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Brayden. It's your girl Lissa. What's up, Lissa family? It's your boy Brayden. So listen, today me and Alyssa are doing a Q&A. Now, Lissa family, I know Q&As are boring. Okay, I find them boring too. There is no shame in that. But listen, don't click away just yet because your boy is going to add the salt and the pepper. I'm about to shake it up. It's about to get really intense, okay? So we're gonna be sitting down, we're gonna be answering some questions. There is one question in there that I saw and it says, when is each of y'all's first kiss? Now me and Alyssa, we're actually each other's first kiss. I'm answering the question right now. But in the video, I'm going to say, well, I haven't told you this, babe, but my first kiss was actually blah, 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 and it was one day before I asked you out. And we're gonna see how heated we can get her, okay? I think it's gonna be good, so keep watching and let's go. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So I hope you God. <laughs> Guys, today is our first Q&A, and I'm pretty excited. It could be our last, though, low-key, because we're about to spill the tea on each other. If you aren't already, make sure you go follow us on Instagram so you know when we're doing another Q&A, and you can leave any questions you have down, and usually our Instagram story is like where we do it. So make sure you go follow us on Instagram, and if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on the post notifications, and join the family. The first question is, are you waiting to get married or engaged to have kids? Hmm, I see a lot of people say that the Blissa family would be super cute as a little family channel. This, this is my sperm cell. This is marriage and engagement blocking that sperm cell. Does that answer your question? We're waiting, baby, obviously, right? Yeah, I think I wanna be, well, first I wanna get engaged. I wanna be married for a little bit. I wanna go travel while I'm young and then probably when we're like older, we'll have some kids. Older, but not too old. I'm yeah. thinking 26, 26 25. Yeah, 25, 26. Okay, the next question is, what is one thing you do not like about each other? Ooh, we about to tell the whole truth. Nothing but uh, the truth. <laughs> I've got actually a couple. I've got a couple. What? I've been with you for six years, babe. Guys, our dog is sleeping if you hear him. Tank, the bulldog, you know all about him. Speaking of the dog, problem right number one I have with you. You kiss him on his lips, babe. You kiss him right his right on his lips. And then you go and then you go and kiss me. Like I have a problem with that. Babe, guys, Tank's little face, like you grab his cheeks and he looks at you like this. And you're like, hello, Tank. Babe, I think the Blissa family doesn't understand fully how gross it is. Can, can we get Mr. Tank over here and get a close up on his big fat mouth? Come on, I want to see them fat gums, boy. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> Show the Blissa family. These this gums, guy. these gums get more action than me, I swear. So, no! <laughs> Just, babe, are you good? Are He's you good? Q&A gone wrong. Hold on, this big ass tripod's stuck. Ah! Okay. Bruh. Let me get a close up on them gums. <laughs> How could you not? Yo, yo! <laughs> hey, he's getting kisses from the Blissa family too. It's my hey, you can't give them no kisses. Take! Oh, say they got a live POV of what Alyssa kisses, bro. Mm. I'm telling you, it's gross. Mm. Problem number two. She's a total grump in the morning. She's Grinch. She's Grinch. Oh my god. Wait, it was only supposed to be one thing. You're just going on multiple things. That's the only two, baby. Everything else I adore about you. You know what? I got a good one. Oh. Move out. Number one thing he does Ooh. is we make some food. 
right? Warm it up. I warm it up in the microwave. I bring his plate or I bring his to-go box with the silverware with a nice cold glass. And he eats it all mm. and just puts it on the nightstand. And then he will leave it there until I pick it up. Oh, you're really exposing me as being a pig pen? I don't clean up after myself? Is that what you're saying? You know, I did just clean off your nightstand today, and I cleaned it off the night before. You gone all out. Oh my god, babe. <laughs> the next question is... Oh, I like this question, actually. What is your favorite memory since being together? One from each of us. And I have, like, a memory. I don't know why. It just sticks out to me. Like, I love everything that we do, but there was, like, this one time when we were in high school and Brayden's dad was getting married and we were driving to the beach to go to his um, ceremony and we got up super super early because we wanted to get there like early and explore Galveston and it was like 5 30 6 a.m in the morning and we were driving on the highway nobody was out we had the windows down the sun was coming up and we were just listening to music on blast yeah like certain moments like that stand yeah. out and you've got like the sunrise beautiful yeah. galveston like this the music was great and like nobody was around it felt like it was just us two literally my dad's wedding we drove we woke up early because the ceremony was like eight so we yeah. drove to galveston got the hotel got all ready we looked all fresh and nice i had my suit on she was looking beautiful stunning in her dress and her booty she looked beautiful what was your favorite my favorite moment is when we got Take and there's a reason for that like we've had tons of moments like tons of moments together that is like i could list so many that mm -hmm. i've like admired but tank specifically because he's our dog and like he that was our brought very us, first like it, it it's the first thing we share our, a response like we both said okay look we're gonna share this responsibility we're yeah. like we're parents pretty much yeah. it's like and it was our first thing together we're dog parents and it's like the first thing that we like both mutually agreed on like okay we're gonna take this dog in like as ours and we're gonna share it's like the it's like a growing up type of thing and we're like having responsibility of a dog together and yeah. we're both like we're parents we're parents and so like i feel like that helped us like grow our relationship like another level higher yeah you think so too right yeah because like it was both like our responsibility like it wasn't anybody else's dogs it, it wasn't just your dog like it's both of our you know and i think that rings true to like all couples i think that's why you see so many couples getting animals because it it does builds, bring you co yeah it, yeah, it, bring, it, it builds your relationship higher it yeah. just does and, you, and you're just going through life together like taking on more responsibility taking like, on more responsibility yeah, exactly like yeah. going into life as an adult and stuff she said it <laughs> okay let's see the next question is do you watch jd and della vlogs what you think? Of course we watch JD and Della vlogs. They're we the love, best. We like we like everybody on the YouTube platform, like couples channels. Um, but we think JD and Della would be very and this was a part of another question. They said who would you want to collab with in the future? And I think for sure JD and Della because they just seem like outdoorsy people they want to like just go and do things and that's how me and Brayden are exactly yeah. like I think we definitely would fit in very nicely yeah with JD and Della if we could like we would be outside all the time like if we had like all day we would be outside and if we had the equipment like dirt bikes um we don't really have any skydiving places. if we could go skydiving i'd go skydiving every day of the week yeah we really want to go skydiving but there's like nothing around here first time we meet jd and della we're going skydiving and um our first time with the with the with the ogs that actually always go with the ogs yeah. they know what they're doing they know what they're doing i wonder if like they're like good enough to like you know how when you go up in the plane and you you have like an instructor that like jumps you yeah your first time I wonder if, like, Josh could jump me. Like, I'd go with Josh, you know? Oh, I... 
I mean, or do they have to work for the company that has the plane? You probably. I'm have thinking to work. that's probably what, what's going down. But, but yeah, we've like, never gone, and it seems right. Like if you're gonna go, you might as well go I'm with going. the experienced people, right? They know what they're doing. They're doing bad. They're like hanging off the freaking the. Um, they're hanging off the side of the plane, and they're like just letting go in free fall. It looks so amazing. When we go, whenever we go skydiving, speaking into the uh, future, I'm gonna ask speaking my it guy. Into existence. I'm gonna be like, "Can we do a front flip out of this?" They're gonna say, "Heck no!" I'm gonna be like, "Come on, let's just send it." <laughs> I know, like, I'm sure I'd be so scared, but like, I'm sure, yeah, I would. But be like, scared. if you're gonna jump out of a plane, like, I want to do some spins, like, yeah, I don't know. And like, our motto is like just live life, and they seem like they are just all about living life. I think they would be pretty cool to hang out with, and so do I think everybody else. But like that outdoorsy kind of vibe, definitely them. Let's Can I tell you all a fun fact real quick? What? So me and Alyssa went to college. We went to a community college for, I think she went for like a whole year. I went for like a couple months. Yeah. And I was like, this just isn't for me. Oh, this isn't a question, but like I'm sure y'all would want to know, maybe. Yeah. It's just not for me. Like, college is for me. I'm not really into education. <laughs> that sounds so ignorant of me. I'm not really into education. <laughs> and then people say I'm you can't really, talk. I'm not really into education. And then people education. say you can't talk. Seriously. Did you fail? I sound stupid. Look, I'm a smart guy. Um... Not, well, just not for me. Like, just reason, not for me. I just why... don't want to put ourselves into that financial situation. Um... Not for Brayden, me. Brayden couldn't go to school though because he got a big job that was like. Exactly, I got a pretty night. decent paying job, and I was just like, I don't really have time to do it right now. Yeah. Maybe in the future, but it's just off the table for me at this point. Alyssa actually has a different story. She wanted to go to college, but she okay. didn't get held back. Right? She too damn stupid to pass. Oh, <laughs> I'm saying this with God. the most loving heart, but I'm joking. But she could not pass because it's funny. You could not pass the math TSI, right? To to get in, you, she took it fifteen times. It's like ten dollars to eat. But time. I love you for that. It's like no, what guys? If he's gonna expose and me, and I I'm tried to tell, tutor no, her, no, no. I tutored her, but she still couldn't pass no, it. No, no, no. If he's gonna expose me, I'm gonna tell it right. I went to school to get a nursing degree because I wanted to become a nurse. And I literally had all my classes down to get accepted into the program. But my math class, I kept failing my math class. And then if I passed this TSI test, it would test me out of that math class so I could move on to like the nursing program. Couldn't pass the freaking test. Couldn't pass the class. I took it so many times. I was like, I give up. I give up. And I've never been back. She gave up. But my girlfriend, like she said, she wanted to be a nurse, specifically a neonatal nurse. She is the most kind hearted Aww. girl I've ever met. You were so courageous. Like, I just love you so much. Thank you. I love you. You're literally, but, like, you're so brave, so full-hearted, just such a loving person, and she has the best intentions behind everything, and it's it's wonderful. Personality, grade A, that's what I fell in love with. You made me cry. Beside those beautiful looks of yours. Honestly, now that we're not in school, um... I'm kind of going the career path that I never thought that I would even be able to do, and that is YouTube. YouTube, Thanks baby. Thanks to you guys. You're helping our dreams come true, and we can't thank you enough, and we can't wait to see where the journey goes years from now. Okay. Well, that wasn't a question, but you got to find that out. Next question is, what are your top five rules of life? Mm. Live life to the fullest. Don't care what people think about you. Ooh. Um, but Come much, on, you were so hyped. You were about to, you were about to run it off your. Because literally, my whole, okay. Um, <laughs> don't be afraid to try new things. Do what makes you happy. Don't stress about the little things. There's too much to live for. That is true. Appreciate life to the fullest. Like I guess is what I'm trying to say. Appreciate life because. It's so, it's so precious, and you want to live every second of it. Okay, next question was, when was your first kiss? Ooh, and it was about to get asking, juicy. It was asking about, like, when I, it was my first kiss and when it was Brayden's first kiss, but I can tell you my first kiss was Brayden. Wait, for real? Yeah, and I was yours, right? Your first kiss was me? Yeah. I thought you knew that. Um, 
For real? <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> um, really? Yeah, no. That, you're, I guess, not my like, you're definitely not my first kiss. Um, I mean, I guess because you're like a stud, right? Mm, we mm. didn't know each other, so I mean, I can't really get like... Oh, yeah, we knew each other. Oh, we knew each other? Um, so... Um, did you kiss somebody while you were dating me? No, 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 no. No, we weren't technically dating. So, no. oh, I'll just tell them, okay? okay? You can't be mad. Well, I haven't even heard this, and... I thought I was your friend. We're being truthful, I know. Like, yeah, I mean, I guess we're being truthful. Okay, here we go. Okay. So, our anniversary, is, when we started dating, March 5th, 2015. Mm-hmm. Long time. Long, long time. Um, my first kiss was, I can tell you the date. It was early. You remember the date? Yeah, yeah, I remember the date. Um, cause it was, it was close to our anniversary. It was March 3rd, 2015. So two March days, 3rd? two days before I asked you out, yeah. So. Brandon, we were talking at that time. Yeah, we were. We were talking. Yeah, talking. We've been, we were talking since, like, January. Yeah, talking. Who we? Who talking. was it? Talking. We were Wait, talking. I didn't talk to anybody else when I was talking to you because I liked you. Babe, we weren't technically dating. So obviously dating. I wasn't like your top choice. It was two days. That was on my sister's birthday, March 3rd. I asked yeah. you if you wanted to hang out. I told you I was busy. Because oh I was gosh. hanging out with her. Babe. Bailey Bailey was my first kiss. Okay. And that no, was just, March 3rd, 2015. What are you? We're being truthful. We're just I doing know, the video. But like you're, you're making me sweat. March 3rd, 2015. <laughs> Two days before our anniversary, my first Dang. kiss. My first kiss. And also, like, my 25th kiss at the same time, because, like, we did it for a bit. And oh, so my God. Did you we just did that. Out there? Babe, I'm just telling Babe, the truth. I don't even know if I'm going to... We're just... This. You told us to do the truth. I was like, let's do I the know, truth. No, but it's, like... It's like it's kind of that hurt. was six years it's ago, like, babe. It's hurtful. Six years ago. I asked you to hang out that day. We were talking. A day later, you did I ask you, you out? Made yet? out with some girl. Did and I then ask a you day out? Later, did I ask you out yet? No, probably because you were too busy with that girl. Okay, you can't technically be mad if I hadn't asked you out. I know I can't, but it's like it's. As soon as we started dating, I cut her off. <laughs> did you though? It would have been yeah. like a day. Like, that's not fair to her or me. Like, it's just disrespectful. You were t So you were probably talking to her at the same time you were talking to me. Player's gonna play just like this player played you. You're my first kiss. You're my first kiss. <laughs> what? Give me that kiss. What? You're my first kiss. I, I was just messing with you. I saw that question. I told the Blissa family this question is oh gold. Oh my god. Wanna know why it's gold? Because me and Alyssa are actually each other's first kiss. And we've always known that. But I thought I would come with the fire. I said, this question, I've gotta take advantage hey, of it. I was just wanting to do a Q&A. Look, you look always... at your rosy red face. She's so sad. <laughs> Baby. I was like, that was literally a day after. I know, was... that would be messed up, wouldn't it? That would be really Kissing a girl up. and then, and then asking you out the day after. Babe, I just wanted to film a Q&A and you're over here messing with me. <laughs> okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that Q&A. I thought it was going to be just a regular Q&A, but I can't. This guy's always got to add a little twist, but if you're new Let's here- Let's be honest, basic boring Q&As are just boring. So guys, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and join the Blissa family, and we will see you in the next.